people have been very mystified what the word hanging might really mean. And that's one of the things that I have explored. A lot of people thought it must be a roof garden of some kind with the plants hanging down like with a hanging basket, as you might say. Um, but there's no evidence at all for that. And what is clear from the Greek accounts, I think, and from what we've actually discovered, is that there were terraces which were artificial arched terraces. So they're vaults upon which the earth of the terraces is suspended. So that's a, a different idea of it. Um, some people thought it was a temple garden, in spite of the fact that we know it was a palace garden. And they thought maybe, rather like a wedding cake, with these ziggurat towers, um, the plants were planted on the stages of the ziggurats. A lot of people think that, and a lot of the reconstructions are done that way. But actually, because the towers are built mainly of mud brick, watering <laughs> trees would have been absolutely disastrous, and the whole, the whole thing would have dissolved and fallen down in no time. So um, it was a wrong interpretation, actually, of the holes which were made during construction through the mud brick to allow the brick to dry out reasonably equally so that the outer skin wouldn't dry much faster and crack off from the inner skin. The world wonders are usually thought of as seven. And in fact, this is a very flexible number because as time went on, some wonders fell out of fashion and were replaced by other wonders. Naturally enough, the Romans, when they came along, wanted to have some of the wonders in Rome that they had built for themselves. So sometimes there were nine wonders, and sometimes there were 11 wonders or 12 wonders. It was a shifting number. But the, the, the expression of world wonder begins in Assyria. And that, I think, is, is extremely interesting. Also, the number seven tends to be a particularly Mesopotamian idea related to the fact that the sun, the moon, and the five planets that they knew about at the time dictated fate to people to some extent. So there's good reason, two great good reasons to think that the tradition arose in Assyria. And I think that that's an important part of it because whether it's Nineveh or Babylon, the garden is well outside the range of most of the world wonders. They're East Mediterranean wonders, most of them. And the one that comes from Mesopotamia is very much to the east of the main group.